The Great Lakes Science Center has a lot of cool and educational exhibits, but students at MC Squared STEM just had an out of this world experience here, literally during a Skype video chat from space. Jason, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? We are ready for the event. Those are NASA astronauts Scott Kelly and Chell Lindgren aboard the International Space Station, orbiting more than 200 miles over Earth. I uh, want to welcome everyone there and uh, look forward to talking to you guys today. Students asked the astronauts questions about space, including what the food's like there. Our menu repeats itself like every you know, week and a half, so the stuff we, uh, we eat up here we see fairly often, so it, it sort of becomes a little bit routine, but this is some... Uh, trail mix that is similar to what you could get in a uh, grocery store macaroni and here's and yeah here's some macaroni and cheese i'm sure this would be a favorite of a lot of the kids in the in the room most of our food is not this this good as this macaroni and cheese though they also talked about their research and how they get around so to speak fortunately here in the space station we've got just about a surface to push on just about everywhere we are so um, it's not too hard to get around but when you're new, it takes some uh, coordination, and so you end up running into the walls and knocking equipment off the walls sometimes. Uh, but we're getting better, and we're hoping uh, that by the end of our expedition, um, we won't have uh, broken anything in here. He was flipping in there in the spaceship. I didn't expect him to do that, and it was pretty cool. I was like surprised to see like when they flipped that they didn't have any shoes on. Shoes or no shoes, students learned a lot during the 20 minute video chat. In that time, the space station traveled nearly 6,000 miles around the Earth. And on the ground, astronaut Janet Cavandi answered questions in person. Like 1,200 hours of supersonic jet time. When I was a kid, you know, when I was very young, I used to sit at night and look at the stars and with my dad and we would talk about what it was like, what it would be like to be in space, what we would see from up there looking back down at the Earth. She walked the students through a video of one of her missions when she helped build the International Space Station. Those little seeds that we can plant at young ages really stick with us for years and can get us through those classes in school that maybe achieve our goals that we've set for ourselves. So set your goals very high and then really stri strive hard to meet them and don't give up. That advice and the whole experience had a deep impact on many students. Now they're ready to reach for the stars. In the beginning, I wasn't like a big space person, but now I might like go home and like do research just because now I can and I know more stuff about it. Yeah, I might want to be an astronaut now. I enjoyed talking to you guys and uh, you know, I... And have a great rest of your day. <laughs> well, in a few years, I think it's safe to say some of these students are going to be the ones answering questions on a video chat from space. Reporting from the Great Lakes Science Center, Shannon Kantner, CMSD TV. Station, this is Houston ACR. Thank you. That concludes our event. You just spilled your drink. And I just spilled my drink. <laughs>